Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This class is MLS Matrix 101, set up for success. I'm Connie Nieto, one of your Miami trainers, and I'm very happy to be joining you today. If you're interested in navigating the full series, we will have the second portion this afternoon and then subsequently the rest of the classes. So one of the first places I like to navigate to, if I would like you to come into MLS. And you here have MLS, Miami Resource Center, MLS. And just to let you know, I will share this page with you as well. Right? Uh, Miami Realtors forward slash MLS. And here you have gateway info, policies and procedures that we do go over in the sixth part of the class. But I do like to bring you in and let you see that there's different information available here to you. Additionally, you do have the classes and when they're available and who's the instructor. So today's morning class is from 9.30 to 11. And then additionally, we have a 12.30 to 2 p.m. If you're going to do the rest of the series with me, I will be here at two. I hope you join me then. Continuing also, I'd like you to see uh, their blogs and changes and information here. When we started, you also had the MLS legal update on this page. And then there's an additional page. There is a matrix dedicated resource hub page I will share with you as well. And here you do have information on matrix. What's in it for me, quick CMA information, and then of course the matrix X series that is recorded in a full matrix playlist here. Now let's come back to our homepage. And from our homepage, if you've logged in, you use the Miami Gateway, you put in your license and password, license and password. And once you do that, you get into the Gateway dashboard. Okay. Once you're there on the Gateway Dashboard, we're gonna look for Matrix, but I have to also show you that you have agent portal access here. So once you start sharing um, searches and sending them via email, that'll create an agent portal, a portal page for your customers, and you can review them here. And you also have a Matrix Learning Lab and a Matrix Help area. Click into Matrix, right? and that will open up your matrix page. And you do have that we choose to provide you MLS briefing information. And here we have legal updates and action plan info that you can watch. Normally those are stored here if you'd like to see them. And this is your main page. You can either view matrix in this format or click on the very top on hello and switch to the new version. And this is what the new version looks like. It is larger. You have your MLS news and alert, listing detail, recent contacts once you've added them in, anybody you may have on concierge, our external links, including CoreLogic, all of the associations, NER, Florida Realtors, Miami Realtors, the tax services for the coverage area. How many of you know that our coverage area in the MLS is Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, and St. Lucie. So you have the tax services for those area. You also, just a little tidbit and know-how. Do you see how the MLS starts with SEF? Does anyone know what that stands for? Exactly. So SEF is Southeast Florida and our MLS begins with that. Thank you. Additionally to that, you of course have your registered 55 communities, the school, right? Districts in the area that we cover, including the U.S. and Florida Department. You have SunBiz Link and you have links to Form Simplicity, My Condo Plans, How to Configure Your Showing Time, RPR, and more on this page. If you come up, you can also move around items right? Refresh them, get to the learning lab, search an MLS number. And once you start interacting, I mean, into sending out, you have my favorite searches here. You can click on the dashboard. And if you have activity with the customers you've sent to, you would see it here.
right? And that's our dashboard. Additionally, on the very top, you have the My Matrix area where it gives you access back to the dashboard. You have a summary of what's been done. Your contacts, which we will go over in the second part. Auto email, save searches, sent emails, my CMA, my listings, carts, and product insight, which is for us here. You also have the search area. Searches are broken down into several things. So you have RE1, RE2, which is single family, condo, townhouse, and villa. RIN, which is multifamily income, and multifamilies are considered um, duplex, triplex, and fourplexes. Residential land, residential rental, commercial land, commercial improved, business opportunity, and across property is a search of all of the above, all of the above. You have a quick search, which is a cross property search, access to rental beast, which we cover in our rental class, open house searches. You can search for open houses, public record information, other MLSs, agents, and office. You have a statistical area, which we cover in 301, direct access to Realist and IMAP on the very top, a links area, and these are additional links and the links found on our main page. We have a finance area where you have financial calculators, seller estimated net proceeds, and buyer's closing cost here. We have an add edit segment, and here we're gonna do our first change. How many of you have already taken your professional picture or have a picture that you would like to make sure is part of our roster. So when you come into this area here, add edit, look for the roster area and on the quick modify agent ID area, type in your license number, the same one you use to get into matrix. How many of you have come into here? Click on edit. Oops, I spelled my name wrong. Click on edit. And that will bring you to your info page where you can modify the agent. And you want to manage, no, not add new. In the add edit, come to roster and agent ID in the quick modify. Type in right? Type in your license number. Then click on edit. And you should see your info. And I want you to look at manage photos, manage photos. When you click on manage photos, it should allow you to browse and bring in your picture. If you have your picture here, you're seasoned and you want to know where the picture comes for the roster for MLS touch, it's from here. If you are a listing agent and you're going to be putting in open houses that you're going to be putting into matrix and you're going to make them for all to view, then you want to have your picture here because that goes to a website, right? When you add an open house here in matrix whether it's virtual or in person, as long as it's for all, then it does go into a website called South Florida Open House Search. And twice a year, we celebrate an open house week where we share your open houses. And uh, a couple of times a month, they even feature properties on those pages. And this is what will go, the picture you put here will be a part of that as well. So it goes into the roster, it goes into MLS Touch, and then of course, it goes into the open houses that you put public, okay? How do you add it? Click on browse, search on your computer for the photo, select it. And once you select it, you can come and have it come here. If you have an older one, you can select and delete it, right? And then if you'd like, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. If you don't have any, then you'll have this one show as your primary slot 
and you can even come and enter description. Of course, mine is a Miami trainer. And of course, um, you would come in and put however it is that you use on your business cards, your name if you'd like. And then the most important is to certify and save. And this is part of that process to make sure that you've made the system yours. Once you click certify and save, it'll tell you it's done and we're ready to move on. Again, that was in the add edit section under roster. Continuing from that, we have the market reports area on the man and schedule, which you can click here. And of course you can create, and we do these in 301. We show you how to do some of these. And we also have some intramatrix. This is in a um, the 501 class. And it's interesting because we have access to view. Now you don't have to be licensed in there, but we do have access to view. Even though one of you said that you came from Georgia. So if you kept your license from Georgia, you would be able to use this to view. But you can view this and FMLS Georgia, Omni Mexico, CR MLS in California, RE Colorado, and Real Comp. You can view from here. Interesting, huh? I'm going to click on the dashboard or on our Miami logo, just a second, so that you can see that you can change the text size to smaller and smaller or larger to view that main page as you would like. Next, we're going to come into the hello area here. Hello, find your name on the very top and click in it. Right, and then we're gonna come into the settings area. Now we do record our classes, we do, and we have recordings already available to you. And at the end of the class, I'm gonna to show you two places where you can find recordings for you to review and see again what we've taught you. Most of our classes are the same. Right? And if this recording comes out great, probably by uh, next week, I will post it. Does that sound like a plan? And I'll show you the two places where we post. I hope you like that. It's very beneficial. How many of you have ever taken a class and you need a minute afterwards right, to review? And then you'd like to see it and fast forward, etc. So we try to do that. Alrighty, so now hello and settings. And we're gonna navigate in here for quite a while since this is the setup class to make sure you have everything necessary to start sending to your customer. And once we get here, we come into the My Information page. Click on My Information. Right. And now that you're here, we get to review the first items here. What you have on this page will then be available in many of the other pages. So it is important to take a minute and look. Notice that I have my first name as Connie, but my actual name is Constance. But a great opportunity here to write in. If you have a nickname, you can write it in. And then I always advise to come. And you see how my name shows up like this? I always come in and tell you to put your name right? And any designations and certifications that you may have earned. And if you really want your name to be a one-liner and you wanted to, um, I like to show you that you can even do this and put your title in. Right? And that way, when you start using it on the other pages, you have your name and title all in one. This is up to you. It's just uh, an op option that you have. But I like to show you, you can put it in like that. If you belong to a team, you can add it in, type it in, and your title of employment. <laughs> I had a guest. Have any of you come out to our new headquarter location? I advise you to come out if you can. It's great out here, great photo op opportunity, a lot of learning going on, um, et cetera. Some of you are asking some questions because you've gone ahead. Um, there is an additional area where you could do something like that, Allison. Um, if you continue here, I always like to remind you to please put your contact number. Please put your contact number, make sure that that's okay. Everything is all right. And then I like to scroll down and um, 
you have a tagline area. So if there's a slogan, there is a new headquarter location. We are Caddy Corner across the street from where we used to be north of the Miami International Airport. And our address is 1800 Oakwood Drive. I'm here, I'm here today. Um, I'm, I'm here today, but there's so many opportunities uh, to learn here. They have all kinds of classes going on and uh, we'd love to have you come out. I know that there's a convenience to, to, to seeing us via Zoom, watching via Zoom, and I get it and it helps us to create recording. So we love it. But there's sometimes it's a different environment when you come in person. So if you get the opportunity, come on out. Now here on the tagline, I like to tell you here to put live the dream, right? But this is my tagline. So you find out if your office has a tagline or if you guys are using one, you can add it. In. If not, you leave it blank until you design. And then in the additional information area, um, you can put um, items like I have your link tree, WhatsApp, um, Instagram. And if you want to put on your website, your Instagram page, you can do so as here. I always like to take a minute and say, if you have a website, or a web page, or if they've given you a landing page in your office, what you do is you open an additional, right, page up on the top, open up a tab, and type in your page. And I always like to say that this is my page. And here we are. If you haven't met us, your Miami trainers, Connie Nieto, Christy Dennis, Tyson Haynes, right? And we have our in-depth uh, tech series we have over 12 of them if you're interested in taking classes. And we have an update Miami Tech Weekly, right? And then um, items that we've earned to be able to teach and work with you even better. Okay. And then if you wanted our info, you can click on each of us. And you get our information. And these are my classes today. Okay. So let's say that this was my website. I come into here, I copy. I come back into Matrix and I can paste that into here. And now I have my website done. You can do the same for Instagram. And if you have a suffix, you put it in. Now, the most important key thing is if you changed anything here, click on save. If you've noticed you have grayed out items, those are your office details. If they need to be updated, contact your office for them to do so. Then you click save and you're done with this page. It says your pages, your changes have been saved. And now we're getting ready to header and footer. Go to header and footer. So save first and then click header and footer. The creation of the header and footer is important because as it shows up here, it is part of your header display uh, for your reports when you print them out, right? And you can select from a standard of banners that are already available, or you can choose to create your own and upload it. Now the standard banners, of course, the current banners, what I have, but if you've just started, you have to select. Find a place it says select and click. And you have all of the options here available, some basic colored ones with waves, you know, angle, template, for lease, for rent, for sale, a sofa, boardwalk, building, right? Miami commercial if you choose, right? You have some other ones here. And let's say that you really like this one or you really like this one. Why well, you select it here on the side? And then you click on preview and you can continue to look. There are very many options for you to select from. Click preview and now you're previewing, right? Your page and now to customize like I have here on screen with all of my info, it is a drop down of what you put in the information tab. So you click, right? Click, click, click. If you want to add a photo, you see how you, this is how it looks, no photo or you wanna choose a photo, you can come and change and upload your photo, right? Browse, upload it, and then you can select the area that you're gonna make sure comes out and click on save. I'll give you new office details at the end, got it? It's 1800 Oakwood Drive and it's north of the Miami International Airport. All right, so once you drop down here and select, Right. This is one of the reasons that I told you to put your name completely on one line. So we just take up one of these that you can select from. OK, your brokerage, how you want them to contact you. 
right? In your order of preference. So first would be whichever you like and then live the dream or any other item. Or if you have your website, you can come in and put your website on. One of you was asking me, oh, can I put my Instagram as my website? And then here's where you would be able to showcase it. Right? Any questions so far? There are 44 of you. That's amazing for a Monday morning. All right, we'll continue because there's a second portion. You can choose not to have a footer or to create a footer here. And then you have four items to drop down and select from, right? For your footer for reports, etc. Where am I? Was that your question? I am at our headquarter location. And um, if you have not met me, I'll take a minute now. And I'll, Hi. And if you asked where I was, so I was like, oh, let me just see you. Good morning. All right. And next um, from here, select and select. And once you're done, we click on save. Once you're done with header and footer and you're all set to go, we have the CMA cover page, which also brings up information from the information desk uh, area. You can override and put your name, suite if it's not available, your address info. And this is what the cover of the CME, the comparative market analysis will use if you're doing it in matrix. Nickname, full name, right? And then if you want to add your website, you can as well here. So let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to remove the website from here. Open up mine, copy it. Come back in to Matrix, paste it in, and then, of course, do what? Save. And now we've also done information, header, footer, and CME. Email signature. Let's click on email signature, and let's talk about this here. Take a minute and start typing in. Just like in Word, you can choose if it's bold or not. Right, so select bold or not. You can select the type of font and you have the choices that you see here on camera. Okay, you'll type your name. I always suggest to make your name just a little bigger. So if the other one was one size, you can come and make it a little bigger. Your title, your contact info, right? So let's type it all in and I'll give you guys a couple of minutes here. Let's say two minutes, so until 9.58. And then I'll come back and show you how you can do some hyperlinks and how you can add your photos. So let me go ahead and delete it so you guys can see it. Notice that I also put my brokerage. This is the equivalent. Here is the address some of you were asking for. And um, then we'll talk about these little hyperlinks that we can do. Two minutes, 9.58.
Nathan, did you figure out where we were? Were you trying to find out where we were in Matrix? You could set it up while we go along. That's why I give a couple minutes for you. All right. You don't have to, but the idea would be to follow. Um, if you were not um, in an in-person class, you would have your computer open and we would be following along. I know it's hard to watch and do it, but I try to give the benefit of the doubt, especially since we have a little more time in this uh, Zoom because we do some in an hour. I like to give you a minute to do your, um, to do your page if you want to. Now, I want to talk about email and hyperlink. So I'm going to select it with my mouse. And I'm going to, of course, remove the link, which is the little link item. Let me get a little bigger so you guys can see. So you see how I've selected it and there's a link. I could select that link. Right. And I can type in what I would like for the display to show. And that's great. That's all we're going to do. I'm just mimicking what's there. And it's not a URL. This is an email. I click email. And then I can choose, right, the email I would like it to go to when they clicked on the hyperlink. And I can even add a message, subject or body, if I like and click OK. And that will create a hyperlink that when they receive the email, you can click from it here, but when they receive the email from the system, they will click and be able to email back you back. Nice. Now I formatted my phone number a certain way so that this could be detected as a phone number. OK, so that would prompt most phones that see it to click and they would be able to call you. That's why I put my phone number in that format. How many of you love social media? So let's do this here. Facebook. I'm going to uh, go ahead and remove the link. And I'm going to show you that you can just type it up, Facebook. And if I want to hyperlink it to my business page, I can open up a tab, open up my Facebook to my business page, select it, copy my link, come back into Matrix, select, and it's the same link process link. And this time it is a URL. I just paste it in. And click OK. All righty, the next one, Instagram. Let me unlink and then show you. I select it, I click link, and this appears, correct? Well, I can open my tab and open up to my Instagram business page. Okay, and here's my business page. So what can I do? Copy, copy it up, come back into what, matrix, and then paste it in and click what? Okay, and here I have my Google business. So I'll show you what I um, placed it to. I think this is the page. So this is my Google business, right? I'm almost complete. Okay, and I'm going to look at the interactions. Okay, just to show you, and what I really wanted was here. Right? And what I did was reply or get more reviews. And if you guys are thinking of creating your Google business page, it's a good idea. I can click into here, copy this. Right, so it was my business page. 
my review area, the get more, copy this. And then I came in back into matrix and I did Google business and the same thing, paste in the URL and go ahead and put okay. Everything I have shown you here, you can also do in your signature. So I don't know if a couple of you are going to do it or not, but I'll give you two minutes from now. If you decide to, and if you need additional time, um, then I will give it two minutes at 10.05. Hi, Alexander. I'm going to uh, come to a stop point here and I'll give you some time. OK. So now that we've done this, the last thing I have uh, to show you here is some of you may want to add your photo. So if you put your picture in the header and footer and in the CMA cover, the system has the image already in and you can use those in your signature. So header and footer and CMA allow you to add a photo. So now the system has it. So what you can do is select where you would want the photo, right? Leave the cursor there and then find the picture icon here. Click, select the image and you'll have from both. Select the one you want. Okay, and now you have your image in. How great is that? And now, of course, oh, sure. You see how my cursor's over here now, and now it's here. I put it where it is that I would want my picture to be. You see it? Since I've already added it to the header and footer section in CMA, the system has it available. Since it is available because I used it here, now I can click the image icon. You see the image icon? It's like a portrait. Oh, I'm not teaching in person. I click on the picture and now I select the image. And here I am, I select it and I click OK. Hi, Romina, how are you? Comps, we're not, that's part of the third portion. We have to go over the rest of this, one more item and then we will start doing a search as described in the 101 class. I'm not in person, so I'm not sure about that question. Um, can you center the picture? Uh, you would have to then locate it. So if I wanted it just to be there and um, center the picture like in another area, because you could scroll down and have it be like in the middle, but this is what your signature would look like. Or you can do all the typing above, remove here. I just want to answer your questions. I want to be sure you guys got what you need. And then if I wanted to be underneath all of my links, I could put here and then select. Select image and the picture I want to use and OK. All righty, we're done now with the signature. And the next one is an agent web page. You do get a free web page, which is a landing page through Matrix. You come here and you can enable it. If it's disabled, it's not going to work. We have not left the information area. And one of the most important tabs is coming up. So agent web page is a way for you to have, if you do not have a website, to have a landing page site that allows people to search, et cetera. 
So once you come into here, you'll have an option and it'll show in blue. And if you want to change it, you can go ahead and do so. Just remember that if it goes to any other color other than blue, it is taken or not able to use. And you can only use letters and numbers. So this is the website you're creating, HTTPS, the name you put here, dot SEF dot MLS matrix dot com. Again, this is for free. You do not have to. Some things that we recommend, your name. Use the same thing you would on social media and write the same thing on the web page and the title. So when they search for you, there's more opportunities for them to find you. Next up to that, you have the ability here to write a short bio. Right. If you've taken an Agent 3000 class or an AI for Realtors class, we show you how you can use AI to help you do this uh, write up right, uh, or bio on your business. Real estate instructor providing excellent customer service. That's me. But you can switch that instructor and just put Realtor or Real Estate Agent and you can put your area of coverage. So I try to give you this and I don't know if any of you would be interested in a copy of what I wrote. But I'm going to go ahead and try to copy it and paste it into the text. <clears throat> Let's see if it'll let me send it. Ah, oh, it went. There you go, you can copy it. Uh, the idea here was to give, provide you something quick and fast. You're dedicated uh, to providing excellent customer service. How long <clears throat> you've lived in an area, because if some of you are new, you may want to put, you know, just started in the industry, but I've lived in South Florida for the last five years, or I moved down, I'm in love, you need to live here, you have to own property here contact me. And then I always like to say, how many of you, when I asked you where you were watching Zoom from, I had people from all over, but not everybody was at the beach, correct? So I like to mention, you know, from its gorgeous sunrises and sunsets, it's vast horse uh, country. Wow. Thank you, Daniel. I haven't been in Michigan in years, but I can just imagine it must be cooler there than here. Incredible suburbs and, of course, international flair. South Florida is a dynamic place to live and owning property here is a must. So I also wrote a little bit in Spanish, porque hablo español, right? And if you write or speak another language, you can add it as well. So it's just to give a little short bio. I also like to show you that you can iframe. How many of you are considering um, creating a YouTube channel? You can do an intro on what it is to work with you. And you can actually come anywhere on this agent page and link a video. By clicking on this play button here, you can come and put the URL for the video. Click OK, and it will be a part of your page. Notice that I have an iframe here already. It is from doing those steps. Oh, we hate you. You're coming to our beautiful South Florida. I was born and raised here. I think that being here is amazing. <laughs> I just know Michigan is pretty. Then you have an area here for portal. Notice how I have them all on this side. You can remove having access to these or not. Right. And you can also select them here and move them over. And these are so they show up on your page. Next, the map area. When someone comes onto your website, you could choose not to specify an area on the map, and then they can go to wherever it is that they need to. You can restrict it to an area, or you can specify an area that you want it to open to. So let's say that you do more for Lauderdale. Now, I don't like to restrict. That depends on how you want to do business. If you restrict, it means that they're only able to look in that area. But if you specify, if you choose to, currently in this area here, it's only, it's a very good question. It's only accepting video from YouTube. Unless you have the embed code for your video, because this is their direct link. So if you have the embed code, you can try to put it in here. Okay. But uh, that I know of here, it's only allowing YouTube URLs. All right. I just like to show you guys that you can, because for being a free page, you can make it a little more interactive than you think. Okay. So thanks for the interest. All righty. So coming down to specify, whether you use specify or restrict, that's when you get the modify map area item up here and you can click. And like I was saying, let's say that you work a certain area. I'm going to come and delete this shape here and I'm going to move it and say, I really want my map 
to come in in this area, right? And I want to focus here and I just click on save. So a little rectangle, drew it. Let me show you again so you see it, delete the shape. And let's say I want it to open up here, rectangle, select, save. Right? And that's if you choose. If not, it'll open up to the specified a map of South Florida, and then they can zoom in and out as they please. There is a sign up form, so you can add. So for people to visit the site, once they click on it, that they can sign up for it. I always appeal to your cons uh, consumer instincts because you are guys are consumer. Any of you make purchases online? Ever visited a website? And immediately they ask you for your details before you can move on. So is your instinct to fill out the info or is your instinct like, oh, you're asking for my information? Nah, I don't want that item that much. So that's what you choose. So do you want it to be a pop-up immediately when they come in? You can choose the sign up form. Now, if they come to the page and at any time try to save, they would have to put their credentials and info anyway, okay? Next, you can also make this the backdrop. So some of you may be going out and buying uh, a name like Connie Nieto Realtor, right? That's a website domain. That's the name of a website, but you don't have a backdrop for it. You can actually um, use it, this site that you're creating as a page for the domain you purchased. And the most important thing when you come to the bottom of the page is to click what? Save. Once you save, um, it should show up to show you the website. It did this to me last week. They were having a little issue with it. Let me go ahead and make one change again and see if it'll let me save and show you what it looks like. And it didn't. So I'm going to open up a tab to show you what the page looks like. So you come into a page like this. It has your photo. Remember, we worked on the header, right? It has the info that I wrote up a video, right? information, active listings, and then they can start coming in here to find a property and start searching for the property. So this is the page that you would be creating from here in Matrix. All right, the next one to me is the most important. How many of you are gonna come into the system and do searches? Right? And you're going to start to share. Well, when we click to one home, I do want you to take your time here and add your photo. So you can do no photo. But the first thing they see when they first open a search from you is your picture and your info. And face recognition works. Yes or no. So you can use a custom photo here. Right. And I'm going to click to change to show you. You would browse, search for your photo, add it in. Of course, I'm not going to add a new one. Right. And then you would come and select where part of the image you would like to show. And then click on save. This was the first part. It's crucial. Next, your info. Though we did it already for the other part, you need to come and you'll see some of it here. Right. And then he, this now allows you to add your links to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and you can put your license number. So since I like to show you, and Twitter is the first. I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to come and open up uh, Twitter, formerly X, right? Or formerly Twitter, now X. And once you open Twitter, you got to be careful because this is what shows. So what are you going to do? You're going to come on the side to your profile. And on your profile page, if you have Twitter, this is what you would copy. Now, if you don't have Twitter, you leave it blank and it doesn't show as a blank. It just won't show as an option. You copy Twitter. Come back into Matrix, paste it in. You want me to show you Facebook and Instagram as well? All righty, Facebook, I'm going to remove it. I already have mine open, but you would open up to your business page. Come to the very top, 
click, right click and do a copy. Come back in, right, to Matrix, Facebook link, paste it in. Next, Instagram, I'll show you again, I'll delete here, and then I'll come to my Instagram page, copy the URL. They are clickable once they receive it, not for us here, they're clickable for the customer. Paste. And if I'm not mistaken, it's an icon, it'll show the icon and they can click through it. You can put your license number if you would like to. And then, of course, you would put your website, right? So I'm going to use the website I have here. Let me just come to not the property, but the about me. And this is the URL from that page. I select it. Go back into Matrix and I'll paste it in. Okay. On your title of the welcome. You can write in English and in Spanish if you like, and you can put your message in. You can type in um, what their greeting would be and another opportunity to put in a link or video. And here it does allow you to do it from YouTube or Vimeo. And you would add in the video so that they could see you. So I'll give a couple minutes here if you're interested in doing this. So till 1025. Any questions? Do you need to enter your number? You do not need to enter your number in the state of Florida. You're not required to put your license number. It's California does require it. That was a good question. Remember that our credit, our classes that are free, like this one, are not for credit. Not for credit. And you can, of course, watch it in any format you like, in person, via Zoom, video. And at the end of this class, I'm going to show you two locations where you can find them. Okay? The idea is to have it available to you. We understand that most of you join the association, and one of the main reasons you do is to take full advantage of the MLS to be able to share it, to post in it, to put your listings, to do others. So yeah, yes, you can come and take the 301. And of course, watch it on video if, you, if it um, helps. We will miss you in the afternoon. Anytime, the idea is for this to be, to accommodate and to work with you, okay? One more minute and then we'll click on save. And then we'll start, uh, we'll have one more step for uh, personalizing and making it yours. And then we'll do a search and we still have almost 30 minutes left.
All right, we'll go ahead and save now, and you've created your one home. Okay, now the next thing to do once we've done here is we're going to come back and click on hello, and then settings on the very top right. Irina, I'll give those in a second. That's what I'm going to do when we finish doing our steps, okay? Hello, and settings. And then do you see portal notifications here? This is part of the last setup that we really like to, for you to take care of. So just to review, I'm going to click on portal notifications. We did an add edit, and I asked you to put your photo there. Remember on the roster area? And then we came to hello and settings, and we did all of the information, my info. And now we're in portal activity notifications. And the reason for this is a lot of you would like to be notified if your customer goes into the portal that you've created or visited the search that you've done, et cetera. Yes or no? And to do that, you can set it up here. You can choose to get an email, a text, a daily summary, and have it show on your timeline. And your timeline is on your main uh, dashboard page. So you can actually select for them to visit portal, save a favorite, remove a favorite, dislike a listing, undislike, add notes, save searches, visit portal for the first time, update planner, and if they unsubscribe, you want to know. Because they can do this by mistake. Now. I've selected to be email and text. So notice to me, one of my favorites is you want to know if they're interacting. So if they add a note, you want to be notified. If they save a search to something, so that means they've created their own search and they've saved it, you want to know. If they visit the portal for the first time, you want to know how great would it be to pick up the phone and say, oh, I see you open the search. And to get to this page, it is hello, settings, portal, notifications. So you can select whichever you like. You don't have to do what I have. But if you do want to get information via text, as I have shown here, you have to come into the text notification area and you have to select click here. Type in your number with no dashes or spaces, just the phone number. Click on your cell provider and select from the drop down and have it send you a verification code. So you have to, I'm going to cancel to show you, click here, add your cell phone number, click to search for your service provider, select it, and have it send you a verification code. It should do it in a couple of seconds, but first, do what's up here. So I'm going to give you guys until 1032 to go ahead and do it.
I am. Alrighty. So to get here, hello, settings, portal notifications, right? And the most important part here is to fill it out how you choose. Now, this is the setup for MLS matrix, which is where you go to search. And once we're done with this page, I'm going to show you how to search. So this is not your setup for any other page, but for matrix MLS. And that is the MLS most of you will use with your office to do your searches and send to your customers. So what you're doing is setting it up here for success. And we went through and we set up our email signatures. And we set up your information, your header and footer. So if you pull reports later, you would be able to do it. And then most importantly, saved all the key elements, including an email signature for when you interact with your customer on the portal or they open the portal, that they will see everything with your info and to you and how to contact you and where to find you on social media, etc. So you do this setup. And then, of course, if you ever have a change, you have to come in and do what? Update. So if you get married or divorced or have a change or come back and leave and come again, you might want to do this. How's that? Daniel, did you find the spot? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click save here. And we will be done with this portion. And we're going to come back to the main dashboard. And we're going to talk about searching. So one more minute in case any of you needed um, it. And we'll do a search. Well, two at 1035. Any questions from anyone else? You could look at the dashboard in classic mode or in the new mode, all up here. I hope that answered your question. Did that help? All right, uh, next up is a search. We're gonna come in, we're gonna do a search of RE1, RE2. And for that, you put your mouse over search and you come into RE1, RE2. And I want you to notice that the searches are divided into three areas here. Okay, and here on the left-hand side, you have info. In the center, it's all about location, and to the right, it is details. So you can select from the statuses, and I'm going to leave just active, but notice that you can choose from active, coming soon, active with contract, canceled, closed, pending, rented, temp off market, withdrawn, and expired. You can choose the property type. So I'm going to click on single family. And once you do that, it'll let you select here on single. If we want a home with a pool or waterfront, you could pick here, pool, and I'm going to put yes. So, so far I put active, single, single, yes, right? You could do a waterfront description, style, amenities, and keep on searching down to all of the amenities. You can then come to the middle and put a location. So you can put a distance from and add an address. We will do this further when we do the second part and we dedicate ourselves to the map. You can actually search for an actual address if you want here. This is great if you're searching for condos and you don't know the unit number, but you know the address, you can put the address here. You can put several buildings. Sometimes there are cloister of buildings. 
You can put an area number, the county you're looking for, a municipal code, township range. But a lot of times the customer will come and tell you a zip code. So I'm going to come and put one in 33134. If you wanted to add several, you just add a comma. Right. And you can add the other zip code. You could, of course, look for a geographic area or select. I'm going to click in the box and I hope you see the pop up that comes up. You could then see all of the areas and select all of the cities up to you. And then we have some additional items. So, so far, just with this active, single family, single, yes, with a pool. And in these zip codes, I have 100 matches. I'm going to come down here and talk to you about additional fields. Sometimes we need to know the terms consider. If I want to buy cash only or conventional, et cetera. If I want to know, I don't know, uh, what's if it's a cool design, HOPA, yes or no. HOPA is Housing Older Person Act. REO is foreclosed. Short sale is in the process of short sale. Remarks, internet remarks, etc. So to add these additional ones, if you do not have them here in the lower part and you would like to, if it's your first time, it just says add. And if you added some, it's add or remove. So here I'm going to suggest some for you and show you how to add them. I'm going to click on add or remove. And these are the available fields. This is where you search for fields, the field items that you want to add. And then these are the items that you have added. Back here on the very bottom of the search, underneath where it tells you the results, add or add and remove. Did you see it, Sandy? We click in it and then it brings you to the page. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna show you how to do one and then I'll show you the ones I have. And if you wanna use them, I'll let you do it. So I'm gonna put here, okay. Select OK to advertise, click Add. Of course, I already have it, but it would appear. Subdivision info, you would come to the search, start to type, select it, and add it in. And then I'm going to leave these on screen in case you want to add them. Go ahead and search yourself, add them in. These are the typical ones that people ask for. And then once you're done with these, I'll give two minutes, and we'll scroll down and do the rest, and then we'll finish the search, OK? You're welcome. By the way, parking description is a hot topic item, and that allows you to, to see what type of parking. And then I'm going to scroll it down. And of course, pets, any restrictions that there are to the property. So is it okay to lease or not? That's where you would search for that. Um, parking restrictions. So maybe you can have a van with logo or whatever. Association fee paid per, how often, right? Association fee, the type of association design description, and country, we don't need that one. I'll remove that one so you guys can just see it. But these are the last ones if you are interested. And I'll give uh, two more minutes and then we'll go ahead.
Of course I'll show you. <laughs> Don't worry. I promise. All right, I'm going to click back. By the way, um, you're a member and you can take these classes as many times as you like with as many instructors as you like. There are three of us and we tend to teach it in English and Espanol. You can take it all the times you want. You can come in, you can look at the recordings, etc. Because sometimes it's better to come in person just so you can ask questions or see. I don't know it's something about the atmosphere. So however you choose to learn, you can do it. And these classes are free and they're meant for you. They are a member perk. Okay. Alrighty. So now I've come back to the results and I want active single family in these two areas and with a pool. And I want it, let's say, conventional, just to see, 93. What happens if I wanted to select something else? I can click on command or CTRL, control on the keyboard, and I can select, you know, another type. And now I'm going to come into my results. So just to remind you, I had selected active, single family, single, yes with a pool, two zip codes, 33134 and 33133. And then, of course, I came in and I put my FHA and conventional. I'm going to come back up and talk to you about this area here. So if I was looking, right, from 900,000 to uh, 2 million five, right, I have 20 results. I can search an MLS number. I can also come in and put, let's say I want three bedrooms, uh, plus anything more than three bedrooms. Now I'm down to 19. So this is a range. This is a number. If I just wanted three bedrooms, I would just put the three and that leaves me 10 matches. But if I want three or more, I can add the plus sign and now I have it. If I wanted three or less, I have 11 matches. So I choose here the range or the number or what it is that I want to see plus. Full bath, let's say I want two. If I put just two, I have six matches. If I put two plus, I have 19 matches. I can also choose a half bath, garage spaces, right? I can put the number, the um, range of square footage, etc. This is one search, all sections at the same time. Great question. Now, I want to show you quickly that you have this mapped out and it'll show you the map area where we're finding these homes, right? And, but the second class is all about the map and doing an auto email. So I want to come from here and I want to look at my results and see my results grid. In my results grid, when I click on results, so I can come back and change interchangeably, right? In my results grid, I'm going to see them in order and I can organize them by least to most expensive right? I'll see the number, the MLS number, which is the identifier for the property, the area it is in, the address, the subdivision, the price. I can see if the price has gone up and down. Sale price, we're not looking for sold, so that doesn't show. Beds, baths, half bath, square footage, type of home, year built, garage, pool, waterfront, the type of home if it's detached or not, and lot size. I can also see showing, et cetera. If you wanted to add more things here, you could. We'll go over that extensively in the next class. But since you asked, I'm going to come in. You see when the little pointer appears, I need the cross to appear. And when that appears, you could insert and you could choose days on market. This is the days on market and you can apply it to your grid. All right, we'll talk about managing the display and personalizing it, but I also want you to know that I can come in and view it. I can see how many pictures. This one has 43. I can click on the picture or here to make it bigger. I can search. Right. Let's say I'm interested in this one. I can select it here. I can view the information, the legal description, subdivision and location info, general property info, remarks, 
Roker remarks. Bedroom descriptions, additional items. Mortgage type, tax reflects. Office and agent information. And let's say I'm interested, excellent. Next, next property. Next property. And let's say I like this one as well. I select it. I want to switch from the agent full view, which is the display I'm doing here. Come back into agent single line. And I'm going to show you that I can select something and remove it. And I'm going to come in again, subdivision, cross, insert. Search, days on market, select it, and apply. All right. Now that I have the two selected, let's say, I can do a couple of things. I can email. Email, you see it here? I can come and create a new contact or start to search. So if I wanted to search for a customer I already have, I can do so. All right. Not valid, of course. Or I can come in and create a new contact. Let's see. Type in my customer's name. Email. And I can even choose the salutation. to personalize it, right? And I can save. I can show additional fields if I want and save it. And now I've added my customer. I can put in a subject line. Why am I describing it? One, to make sure that it reaches the customer because the more description I add, the more likely the customer is to receive it. Number two, I'm going to copy myself. You see a blind copy. When I see this, am I not going to know exactly who this was for and what I was doing? So naming it here helps who? You, the agent. Then I know it already says hi, and I say, uh, gorgeous properties. Right. And then I'm going to do what? My signature is already done because I did it earlier. And now I do what? Send. Now, how I got there was I had selected two of the properties and I clicked to email. And that's what brought me here. You like it? All right. I'm going to cancel out because I already sent it. Now, I want to ask you. I've just sent them these two properties, but I did not save the search. Should I not save the search for the customer? And for who else? For me, because they told me where they wanted it, the beds, the baths, and the information, correct? Am I going to remember that? How many of you remember what you had for dinner on Friday? So though you sent these two to get the conversation starting, you could come into here and actually click on save and do a new save search. And here you would put, you know, yes or no. And if you click down, your customer is here. And it saved you all of your criteria. So this is a good business practice. Click on save. And now you've saved it. So you don't need to remember every detail here, anything you did in the mob, and the results that you had at that moment. That's a save search. 
Now let's talk a little bit about coming back to the dashboard. How many of you have ever closed out the system and said, oh, I didn't save my search? Ever done that with anything? Well, you have recent searches here. Recent searches here. The last 30 of them. No, they will not updates with new listings. That's the second class. I will talk about auto emails there. Good question. They will not update unless you do another update, but they're saved because a lot of the times what we forget is what that criteria pool. But I also want you to see that if you ever close out and you forgot, the last searches you've done are available where? Recent searches on the dashboard and you can see them here. Okay. Now, if you did 60 searches after, no, because it only saves 30, but they're here. If you save the search, it's going to be under my matrix, save searches. You can click on last run, click on it again, and here is your search. If you save the search and allocated it to a customer, you can come back to my matrix and search for contacts and your contacts would be here and you can select last use and here's your customer. Yeah, you can edit it. Great. Right. You can also come in here and you can see what you sent. I sent two in an email. Sent email under my matrix, sent email. And here is the search. And here are the two listings that you sent. And I want to take a minute and open in one home to show you. This is how it looks like for the customer. Right. And they see you the first time in huge, like they see you large the first time and it says welcome to them. And they see the properties. That's why it's so important to add the customer to matrix. Matrix contacts are your contacts, no one else's. And this is how they see the property from the link. Save searches. I'm going to come back into matrix, my matrix. Save searches. And what I did was push the last run up so that I could see it. You could also search by the name. You can click on it, right? You can update it and you can click on the settings to see it. You can look at the criteria. And here you can update it. So if you needed to change something, you could. Review of what we did. We came into matrix, right? I showed you a little bit about the home. Talked to you about the MLS page and all the things that are available to you here. Right? Talked to you about the matrix page and how videos are here. We logged in and we came in, talked to you about matrix. Agent Portal, Matrix Learning, Matrix Help, opened up Matrix, showed you that there's a new and old version, right, up here, classic, right, or right, available here, go to the new dashboard. I came and I showed you recent searches. We dedicated ourselves to making this system yours, and we did that by doing what? Hello, settings, and we did my information, portal notifications. Prior to that, we had come into the add edit and looked at our roster detail to make sure you have your photo in, remember? And then once we were finished with all of that, we came in and we did a search. And someone just asked me, so I'm going to come in criteria. When you put not, is that that's not what you want. Most of us leave or so that you can select this plus this, right? Or this, and it leaves it. But if you put not, you're selecting that you do not want what you've selected. That's all it is. All right. We saved the search. We had our results. We sent two to the customer and we looked at one home. What's coming in 201? We're going to come into the system in 201 and we're going to talk about doing a search and we'll play a little more 
right? And we'll talk about the map and how you can make the map yours and how it can help you find something, what it offers you and what's available and how you use the map tools, okay? We will do an auto email, which means that any updates on the search will then automatically be sent to the customer in the format or timeline that you choose, auto email. We will show you how to disable an auto email. And then we will talk about creating your contacts, what your contacts has, right? What you can do from here and see, which is a contact manager and searches in depth, especially the map. So when they tell you, I want to live from A to B, from such and such avenue, but I don't want this intersection here or that quadrant there, then you can remove it, add it, et cetera. Other state searches, we have um, Intermatrix, which takes you to other locations. Let me click back. We have Georgia, Omni, California, et cetera. If it's in our MLS, you can find it there. And then we also offer you um, through my your Florida Realtors MLS Advantage for the rest of the state of Florida. And you have professional search for the rest of the states. If you're not licensed in the other states, you can get a referral from there or get in touch with an agent to help you with your customer. But remember that most states require you to have, to have a license. Okay. All right. And now, where can you find the videos? Well, we have a YouTube channel created for you. My uh, YouTube.com forward slash Miami Trainer. So I'll copy and go ahead and share that with you. Okay. And we did more than we normally do in the first class. I usually do most of the uh, search in the second class. So we got to do a search. So that's our YouTube channel. And you also have access to Miami Realtors Live from your Gateway Dashboard. Remember, this is where we logged into Matrix. You have access to Miami Realtors Live. You click there. You click to log in again. Now you're logged in and it knows you're a member. And you can come and search for videos or see what's on demand. Okay. And you can search here as well. So let's say you want me to uh, matrix. You can see the videos that we have for matrix here. All right. So you have two options. You have YouTube. Oops. Here it is. YouTube. And you can search for here. Matrix. And I send you links for both. Okay, and here you have the playlist for Matrix. School is back. Okay, and you can see all of them right here. And here's a 101. The best way is here because you can see one. And I think we've tried to only keep uh, videos that are current on both locations. Okay. And if this recording comes out great, I'll probably edit and post it by next week. And if you subscribe to the channel, you'll know immediately when we add new videos. Well, good morning, everyone. Button. My name is Christy. But you'll see it here. I just added some okay to advertise and we've been doing some other additions as well. And then from here, it does take two to three weeks for it to go to Miami Realtor Live because there's a whole process. I hope that helps. All right, I don't want to take up your time. If you're going to be back, we'll see you at 1230. And now you have options to see 101 and 201. Thank you so much for being Miami members and for spending the morning with me. Get a bite to eat and see you back if you're coming back for 201. 201, if I'm not mistaken, is at 1230. Let me confirm. And if you haven't registered and you're interested, let me send you the link so you can register. So it's on my calendar. And today is the 26th. The month is almost over. Isn't that amazing? The 26th. And here is 201. Let's see. Yeah. 
Hey, it's not on here. Matrix 101. Here it is, 201. I just couldn't see it. Copy. And let me paste it into all of you in case. And it is at 1230. It's 1230 to two. And there you go. Thanks so much. Hope to see you in a few. And if not, I hope to see you in a class or in another class soon or at one of our events. Again, thank you for being Miami members. Always more with Miami.